Hi, Hi there. there. My name is Lois. My name is Dagi. And today we're gonna show you a quick tutorial on how to download your data from our dashboard. Awesome. Join us as we show you how to go about it. So in this session, I'm gonna be showing you how to download your content for a specific app. And in this case, you can see this different app. So we're gonna go to the Fresh USSD application. Uh, from there, you have a display of all the analytics and all the products and services. Uh, you go to the sessions. Once you go to the sessions, that this is where all your USSD, USSD sessions are recorded. Uh, you're gonna see a download CSV button. So you click on that one. Once you click on the button, you're going to get, there's a filter, there's date, and then there's the number of record. Under the filter, there's different way you can, you can filter your data, either all of it all by or by status or service code, as you can see, or by phone number, and you can be able to download for that specific phone number. So in this case, I'm going to be showing you for down filtering for all and how to go about the downloads. So once you click on all, and then you come to the date, you select from which date range you will want. For this case, I'm gonna select from March 1st to March 10th, as you can see, and then you click the download button. Once you click the download button, you're gonna get a CSV downloaded to your browser and to your laptop. You And then when once you click it, you're gonna have all the data for that period of time. So for this case scenario, I'm gonna be showcasing you how to download your data for airtime. Uh, for this case, you go to your application, the Crashing Uni, that's where my data for airtime is. Uh, from there, you can see a list of all the products, go to airtime. Once you click on airtime, click transactions. In the transaction, you will see all the transactions that you have ever done with Airtime product. Um, click the download CSV button. As usual, there is the filter. You can filter all or by recipient. Uh, and then in this case scenario, I'm going to filter all. And then for the date range, I'm going to switch it up a little bit. I'm going to select from Feb, from date 12, up to date 24 and then I want to reduce the number of records that I want. Uh, for this case, I will keep it to let's say just 100 entries and then I click the download button. From there, you will be able to have your CSV file downloaded. Once you click it, you'll be able to see all your 100 entries from that specific date range. For this one, I'm going to be showcasing you how to download data for SMS. Uh, and in this case, we're going to go to my fresh SMS application. Completely still on your dashboard. Um, you click on fresh SMS for, for mine. This is for mine. For yours will be a completely different name. And then you come here to SMS. Once you click the SMS, uh, you click bulk SMS and then you go to the outbox. Outbox, this is where you have all your messages that has been sent. As you can see, I have mine here. Um, you still do the same as USSD. You just click the download button and then you have these different filters. You can filter from or you can use filter too, um, and then you can get all data based on your filter. For this case, I'm going to show you how to filter with all, and I still going to select my date range from 1st to 10th March. You can choose as much as a month or, you know, two weeks or one day or three days. And then from there, you will still click the download button. Once you click the download button, you're going to get a CSV file downloaded for you. Awesome. Uh, let's now go to billing. Click on billing and then under it there is expenditure. And then I click on download CSV. And then I'll filter by products. So I'll go for the voice product. Then I'll filter date, that to 2nd to 10th. 
then click on download. And then the file will be saved as a CSV in my computer. And that's all. Thank you. And now we come over to the voice product. Scroll down to sessions. And then when it loads, click on download. Uh, let's filter by date. Yeah. And let's limit the number of records to just 100. And then click download. Your records could go up even up to 10,000. But that, you feel will be saved as a CSV in your computer. And that's it. We hope that this tutorial has been helpful to you. And in case you have any questions or you need any further assistance, do not hesitate to reach to our support team on email or on Slack. Awesome. Thanks for watching. See you next time.